All right, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the three different ways that two lines can intersect on a graph, and I'm going to share some really awesome tips that are going to help you identify how two lines intersect without graphing them. Let's check it out. All right, let's kick this off with a simple linear system, and right away, just looking at this linear system, something jumps out at me, and that is the fact that both of these lines have a slope of 4. Now, that is a clue that something really interesting is going to happen here, and let's just develop the graph of this linear system just to see what exactly that is. Now I'm going to start with this red line. Uh, it's got a y-intercept of 1. So I'll head over to my graph and I'll plot a point at 1 and I'm going to use that slope of 4 to plot another point. Remember that slope is rise over run. So in this case we have a rise of 4 and a run of 1. So I'm going to rise up 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm going to run over 1 to produce another point right here. And I can also go backwards from that first point by rising negative 4 and running negative 1. Right, That's going to produce another point right here. Connecting those three points with a nice straight line is going to result in the graph of the first line. And what I'm going to do next is grab my blue pen and I'm going to graph the second line. This time I'm going to start with my y-intercept of negative 1. I'm going to plot a point right there at negative 1 and I'm going to use my slope of 4 to rise 1, 2, 3, 4 and run 1. I'm going to plot a point right here and connecting those points with a straight line will create the graph of the second line. And you can see by looking at these two lines that they are in fact parallel. They will not intersect and the reason for that is that they have the same slope. If I start at the y-intercept of negative 1 and I rise by 4 and run by 1, the red line has done the exact same thing with the exact same slope. So this blue line will never touch the red line. And that is a key characteristic of a linear system that has two lines with the same slope and different y-intercepts. You're never going to have a point of intersection for a linear system like that. So that's kind of a neat little trick you can use just by looking at the system without creating a graph. You know that there's going to be no point of intersection for this linear system. Let's take a look at another example. All right, so right away, taking a look at this linear system, you can see that I have two different slopes. So I know that these two lines will not be parallel. Remember, parallel lines are two lines that have the same slope and will never intersect. So what I'll do is I'll start with this red line and I'll plot the y-intercept of negative 3. I'll plot a point right there. And I'm going to use my slope of 2 to rise 1, 2, and run 1. And I'll create another point by doing the same thing, rising 1, 2, and running 1. I'll connect my points with a straight line to create the graph of the first line. And then I'm going to jump over to blue. I'll start at my y-intercept of 2, I'll plot a point, and I'll apply my slope of negative 3 to rise negative 1, 2, 3, and run 1. And I'll do the same thing, 1, 2, 3, running 1 to create a third point. Connecting those three points with a straight line will result in the graph of the second line. And sure enough, you can see that we have a point of intersection right here at what appears to be 1, negative 1. So it makes sense that two lines with different slopes will in fact intersect at a single point of intersection. Let's take a look at one final example. Now right away this linear system stands out because this first line is written in what's called standard form. And standard form makes it a little difficult to pick out the slope and the y-intercept which is what we sometimes use to construct the graph of a line. So what I'm going to do really quick is just use a little bit of algebra to solve for y. If I can get y by itself it's going to be written in slope intercept form and I'll be able to get some clues as to what this line is going to look like when I graph it. So since I want to isolate y the easiest way to do that would just be to bring it to the other side. I'm going to be left with 2x on the left hand side and I'm going to add that y to the other side. Remember, I still have that negative 1 on the right-hand side. But I don't want that negative 1 on the right-hand side because I'm trying to isolate y. So let's add it over to the other side of the equation. And you can see that I will be left with a nice slope-intercept form of my line. 2x plus 1, that's our expression for y. And what's really crazy here is that these two lines, while they don't look the same originally, are actually identical lines. They have the same slope and they have the same y-intercept. So it should be no surprise that if I start at the y-intercept of 1 and apply my slope of 2 to create a few points, the result will be the same for both lines. I mean, it, it's the same line after all. So yeah, it makes sense that those three points will fall on each of those lines. So if you have a linear system that has the same slope and the same y-intercept, you actually have two of the same line, which means that those two lines intersect everywhere. Each point that falls on the red line also falls on the blue line. So they are all solutions to this linear system. All right, so now you're able to identify how two lines are going to intersect just by looking at their equations. But the next thing you need to know how to do is to actually determine the point of intersection by graphing, which is why you're going to want to head over to the next video right now, and I will see you there.